whatsoever is rightly done, however humble, is noble. Sir Henry Royce's philosophy is still basic to the creation of all Rolls-Royce products, not least in the motor cars produced by H.J. Mullina Park Board, a Rolls-Royce subsidiary which carries on the great tradition of English coach building. Here is the base unit, a bare metal platform, the beginning of our coach-built cars. On this we build with the finest materials, using craftsmanship, engineering skills, and that most costly of commodities, time. First, the base must be strengthened and modified to suit whichever model is being built, the saloon or the convertible. Panels must be formed as part of the intricate business of body engineering. This process is more than just assembly. It's the creation of a monocoque body that has strength, rigidity, fine line and shape. A product of individual skills and judgment. Experienced hands mold and persuade metal surfaces to their final contours. And this is a stage that cannot be hurried. For only with patience and care can we reach the high standards required. All surfaces must be given a high quality finish, ready for paint or chromium plating. After searching inspection at each stage, the finished panels are brought together to form the complete body shell. To make sure that the body is as near perfect as possible, minor variations are corrected by the sheet metal workers and the lead loaders. stage is completed after final correction and inspection. Now the body shell must be chemically cleaned and primed. It's immersed in a phosphate dip tank, one of many preliminary treatments. This is the beginning of the painting process to give durability and a foundation for the final color finish through a series of priming, filling and oven baking operations. Complete immersion in a tank of primer precedes the two final filler coat applications. By now, work has begun on the interior trim. Coach building demands exacting standards, and severe quality control is essential in the selection of all materials. The slightest blemish must be detected and eliminated. To the customer, the interior finish is the most personal aspect of coach building, and special color schemes can be designed to meet individual tastes. Eight top-grade hides are matched and patterned in each interior scheme, and only one in 500 hides is said to be good enough for this business. Seat building requires expert craftsmanship. Even the seats are tailored and sprung to suit personal needs. It's here in the creation of the interior trim that experience and personal skills are fully expressed. Whether it's in the trimming of hides or in the application of veneered panels. Revealing the natural beauty of figured wood demands long experience in the selection and use of veneers. Matching the flower of the veneer is just one aspect of the process of patterning where the skill of the veneer man comes into its own. From the center point on the instrument panel, the pattern of the veneer must flow precisely around the interior.
good working, the construction of frames and panels for strength and above all appearance, has always been an essential part of the coach builder's art. Today, mechanical aids can speed production in some areas, but the attempt to produce a true harmony of surfaces must still rely on the eyes and skill of craftsmen. Meticulous care is essential in preparing woodwork and perfecting its surface, ready for the long process of polishing. Surface preparation includes the matching of color imperfections and any pinhole defects throughout the woodwork. Polishing must do more than enhance the surface. It must also preserve and seal the wood trim against any climatic condition. Finishing the dados and other trim details takes time and patience. Smoothing each surface to a deep, unblemished polish is a series of operations that can only be done well by hand. Whilst the interior trim details are taking shape, the body shell primary preparation is completed with a light spray of black used as a guide for rubbing down by hand. Next, the body shell is mounted on the subframes. These bear the engine, running gear and other major mechanical components. Rubbing, flatting, shaping and sealing operations begin. Each stage is completed by hand and is followed by rigorous inspection and any necessary correction. Here the objective is a perfect surface ready for full colour application. Fashioning the convertible hood is a process of several stages of lining, padding, shaping and covering. From colour matching the headcloth and hood supports to the twin rear reading lights, this model has every appearance of a hard top. The whole operation takes one man one week to complete. Each facet of the highly complex process of creation is the responsibility of a variety of craftsmen specialists, each an expert in his own chosen field. final assembly stage, a transformation takes place. Already the body shell takes on a personality reflecting the customer and his requirements. The pursuit of excellence demands repeated and rigorous inspection. In the long creative process, each new step is checked and double-checked for appearance, finish and fit. A complete mechanical check is carried out during several days' road testing, culminating in a monsoon rainfall test.
The durability and beauty of high-class coachwork are products of the final paintwork quality. Three weeks after completing the full color application, polishing begins. The bodywork is machine polished to highlight the smallest defect. And from then on, it's resprayed and polished by hand. experience, and craftsmanship. These are the human qualities on which we draw in our pursuit of perfection. The end result, a completed Corniche model. It's taken over four months of painstaking effort to build, and it combines the skill of modern technology with the traditional craftsmanship of coach building.